हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल अनफॉक विद डॉक्टर अतहर परवीन सो हियर आई एम टू विश यू ऑल ऑल द बेस्ट फॉर योर कर्नाटका टीईटी एग्जामिनेशन सो आई हैव सम टिप्स फॉर यू ऑल सो प्लीज डू वॉच दिस वीडियो carefully till the end okay it is going to be a very short video please don't miss any point from this video okay so if you watch this video and follow all my tips and tricks then uh, believe me you will crack karnataka tet this time okay so first tip is that please have a very nice sleep okay so if you have a very nice sleep then you will be very fresh to write the examination the next day okay next is uh, stay calm and stay confident because if you go in panic situation then all things will become worst okay if you want your exam to go smoothly then you have to stay calm so to stay calm what you have to do you have to do some meditation you can pray or you can sit quiet for a while even a good night sleep will also help you in staying calm okay and confidence is very very important and uh, if you are revising the key concepts then automatically your confidence will boost up okay ultimately you have to tell yourself that you are well prepared for this exam okay so what you are going to do you have to tell yourself that i am well prepared for this exam okay and you should be confident in all your abilities and you should also confirm to your mind that i will do my best and i will succeed because see believe me there will be no aspirant who will go to the examination without preparing only thing is few aspirants might have prepared for one month few aspirants might have prepared for two months few aspirants may be writing the in improvement examination which means they are preparing from years for this examination few aspirants may be preparing for very less time because of uh, a lack of time maybe they are working ladies or uh, maybe they are having very busy schedule in their day time so they are not able to take out time to prepare but uh, one thing is guarantee that there will not be even one aspirant who will go to the examination without preparing correct so if you have prepared as much as possible then you should tell yourself that you will do your best and you will succeed okay why i am telling all this because you have worked hard how much you can you have done it right so you have to trust your preparation and you should know one thing confirm that you can do it there is nothing you cannot do you can do it that you have to tell okay so never say i can't do it just to say i can do it okay now coming to the actual part of this video is uh, what will be the tips from my side for your tet examination so before you go to the examination hall make sure that you are having uh, all your things be because you are going to uh, write a examination right so you should have your hall ticket you should have all your accessories make sure that you take one water bottle also okay so all this thing is done so now you are entering the examination hall then once you get the question paper you have to read the instructions carefully but very quickly don't waste time in reading the instructions slowly okay just be quick in reading the instructions then roughly decide how much time you can spend on each section okay roughly don't go into detail and don't waste time just roughly you can divide how much time you can spend on each section then quickly you have to go through all questions in one section whatever section you are starting with you have to go through all questions quickly roughly okay then you have to start with the easiest question so this will give you confidence boost don't start with a tough question if you are having any doubt just skip that question you can come back later okay so start with easiest questions then don't spend too long on a single question so what you have to do you have to be very generous in skipping the tough questions 
से फॉर एग्जाम्पल वन क्वेश्चन यू आर फाइंडिंग इट वेरी टफ और यू आर हैविंग लिटिल डाउट सो यू डोंट थिंक ट्वाइस जस्ट टू गो फॉर द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इफ यू स्टे ऑन दट क्वेश्चन ओनली यू आर वेस्टिंग टाइम यू आर टेकिंग टाइम फॉर अदर क्वेश्चन ऑल्सो यू आर गिविंग टू दिस क्वेश्चन ओनली एंड यू आर नॉट आंसरिंग दिस क्वेश्चन ऑल्सो देर आर सो मेनी ड्रॉबैक्स इफ यू वेट देर for the tough question okay so simply don't spend too long one on one single tough question just to skip it and go for the easy ones if you have time you can come back later because uh, in that scenario what will happen you know because of that one question your three four questions time will be eaten up by that one question so your three four questions are gone and this one question is also gone so total you are at loss with five questions so don't do uh, that type of uh, things in the examination okay let that one question go better you save those uh, three four questions okay clear right next is you have to utilize the provided rough paper whatever they have they have given no you have to utilize it wherever is possible you do mental calculations because it will save time but only because of saving time and doing mental calculations your answer should not go wrong okay wherever you need you feel that you have to write down you are not sure about that men mental uh, maths especially in mathematics at that time you better write it down roughly very fast you can write down and you can calculate okay only because of uh, saving time you are not using that notes and paper and you are making that answer wrong that is also not good right ultimately you are there to give all correct answers okay clear right another very important tip is maybe you get few questions where you are not sure of the correct answer that means you can eliminate the wrong answers correct so you have four options you don't know the correct answer but you know the wrong answers so you go on ticking the wrong answers and you eliminate the wrong answers so whatever is remaining will be the correct answer this is one way of giving the answers of a multiple choice question okay so you can use this funda also in your examination so ultimately this time i don't want to hear that madam i want to write the improvement examination you know why because if you already get the best marks why will you think of improving the exam and writing it next time i don't think that you will need a improvement examination if you get best marks this time only okay so last time uh, many of my paid aspirants i think some 95 to 96% of paid aspirants have cleared the examination but few aspirants wanted to write the improvement exam so they are writing it this year also so that is a good thing only i don't say that it is bad thing but what i am telling is uh, you try your best and you get the best marks no because there are many more things to come in uh, future right we don't know when hstr notification will come it may come in 3 months or it may come in 6 months but we need to prepare for it right we don't know when new notification for gpstr will come we really don't know so that's why if we get free from one part of the examination like for example if we get to free from tt by getting the best marks you can focus on the future venture right so that is what my aim is behind telling you don't uh, think for improvement examination okay so that is one scenario but still if you are getting little less marks and if you are clearing tet then if you want to write the improvement exam then i will not stop you at least at least try to get the best marks i am telling okay it there is nothing wrong in writing the improvement exam it's always good in uh, to write the improvement exam but what i am telling is don't think about the improvement exam before the examination that is what i am telling is okay many aspirants what they think i have not prepared this time properly i don't know what i will do in the examination anyway i have chance i can write next year and i can improve in the exam if you have that attitude now only then how you will you score the best marks that is what i mean to say okay so think that you will not write the improvement exam next time and you will get the best marks this time only okay so i want a promise from all of you that you all will try your best and just remember that never say i can't do it always say i can do it okay so you have to stay focused in the examination and remember that you can do it okay 
so all of you should promise me in the comment section that you will try your best you will stay calm you will stay focused and you will write the examination with a positive attitude okay friends see i have worked out so much for you all i have given you so many free classes and for paid aspirants also i have given so many classes even i have given them revision classes also so whether you are a aspirant who are watching my free classes or you are a paid course aspirant i want you all to win okay my ultimate aim is i want you all to crack this examination okay so after the examination i want every one of you to be very happy and uh, give me your feedback about how was your performance in the examination and uh, how my classes helped you okay friends so i really hope that uh, you all crack this examination with flying colors so please as i already told you stay focused stay calm and never say i can't do it because you can do it okay thank you once again all the best bye